All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. What I'm going to call this podcast is If you want a certain image, live it. This one is just totally off the cuff. I thought about it very briefly while sitting here, and I thought about something else previously when I was at the gym, but I just came up with it. So who knows if this will ever make the light of day, but I'm going to give it a run right now. So if you hear it, we got through it. Or you'll never hear it. So anyways, the reason I kind of bring this up is because, you know, I, I do a lot of things online in a, in, and I get a lot of people hitting me up regarding, you know, living a certain lifestyle. And sometimes I think people even, uh, they're shocked or they don't know how the hell I live a certain lifestyle, especially uh, regarding things I've done throughout my entire life. And to be honest, I don't know how I did it either a lot of times. It's not like I had multi, multi millions of dollars to do a lot of things. At one time, I did have a lot of money when I was younger. And then I've been in many situations when I had no money. And I i mean, that goes throughout my entire life. Uh, so I, I will say this. For some reason, I've always been able to figure out a way to really enjoy my life and do the things I want to do one way or another. I just, I think I'm just creative that way. My cousin once said that about me. He's like, um, one time I got stuck trying to do something. It was just creating. So I don't know what it was. And he's like, if anybody could figure it out, it's you. That's all you do is create. And I said, yeah, that's interesting. But this is this and that. And he goes, yeah, do what you do. Like learn how to create a way to get done what you want to get done. That's your thing. And I was thinking he's absolutely right. You know, regardless if it's a project, I don't care if it's starting something up for whatever I want to start up or going somewhere or just living a certain lifestyle for some reason, you know, I can do it. And again, if even if I fall on hard times, a lot of times people will still be shocked that I keep living a certain lifestyle, even without having a lot of money. And one of the programs I'm going to be kind of creating is really pushing. I want to help men live an incredible lifestyle affordably. I really do. I think I have a knack to do that and teach men how to, you know, save money in a lot of different areas. So they have other money or save money to go kind of do other things they want to do. And I don't think a lot of people look at it. I think people think that they have to have all this money to do all these incredible things. Now, sure, at certain levels, if you want to start having your own jet or you want to fly around, you know, your own plane or you want to start buying a lot of real estate and you want to start doing things at a very high level, yeah, you're going to need a lot of money or you're going to need access to a lot of money, I should say. I was never really obsessed with that aspect of it. I'm kind of more of a lifestyle guy. I I do what I want to do when I want to do it with who I want to do it with. That's kind of just a slogan that I've lived by literally all my life. But I really want to tell people, if you want to start, it's not even improving your image. But if you just want, you know, to do certain things, you know, I should say, no matter what a lot of people say is, they want an image to a certain degree. They not only want to live it, they want to show it. It could be on social media. It could be even showing off to their friends or maybe not even showing off. But they want, you know, some respect or they want to they want to do things that like maybe others can't do or they want to do things that, you know, they just want to do it. I don't care if it's just exceptional, interesting things and they're afraid to do them or go after it because they're either intimidated or, you know, they're scared one way or another or they don't think they deserve it or they don't think they belong there. I'm telling you, just go live it. Go kind of live the image that you desire. I And it could be as simple as, you know, I'm not a car guy. My father loves cars. He has a very beautiful car now and he's always collected great cars. And I'm cool with a nice car. You know, I got an older Mercedes convertible. I mean, it's literally like a 2004. And it's pretty mint. But I just like that style and that year, and I got it. I got it really affordably. And people look at it and go, oh, you're always in a Benz. I'm like, my Benz is old, but I love it, and it looks good. But my dad has, you know, beautiful cars, and I go to car shows. But in people, and I really enjoy myself doing this with my father, and so does he. But a lot of people in their minds think, like, I live this unbelievable life, like I'm buying and selling cars. That's not what I'm about. And I'm not saying I'm trying to, you know, push that if you love cars to go pretend that you do these things. But if you love great, you know, nice cars, go to car shows, go to the auctions, go enjoy yourself. All right. I'm just, if you also, 
You know, I, I love teaching men confidence. And when it comes to, you know, if you want to eventually drive a beautiful car, I don't care what it is, you know you can go in a dealership most likely and test drive the car. Or you can even reach out to people independently online. I don't care if it's Craigslist or wherever. They're selling a lot of nice cars. You can go test drive them if you're embarrassed to go to a dealership. I'm just using this for an example. Say you love boating and you can't afford a boat. You can go rent a boat, right? You, even if you love fishing, you want to go deep sea again, you can't afford to maybe you know, go buy a boat and do that a lot. Go do it once in a while. Even if you love shopping for nicer clothes, I always teach men how to kind of shop resale. But again, if you can't afford those clothes now, that doesn't mean you can't go look at them. Right? You don't be intimidated to go a high in a high end store like say a Neiman Marcus, right? A Barney's, uh, a Saks, hypothetically these type of stores, Nordstroms. Just go, go experience it, man. Experience the image that you want to experience. Don't let people limit you or de- make you feel devalued because at this point in time you don't have the money. And it can even be a you know a certain lifestyle. You, if you love going out to dinner for fine dining, hypothetically, or steakhouses, and I've had my ups and downs where I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars literally on restaurants, and I've hit hard times, but I knew a lot of people in these places, so a lot of times I couldn't afford maybe at times to go on dates or go in groups. I would still just go to the bar and have a nice steak once in a while, just being in that environment again. I didn't want to lose. You know, when you have a lot of money sometimes and you lose it, then you have money, and people don't discuss things like this a lot of times. But that's what a lot of people go through. Don't kid yourself, especially if they lose jobs or their company fires them or you get let go or you quit or all these things. You have these times where you live different style lifestyles. But a lot of things when you have money, you like doing, and then all of a sudden you don't have the money or you got to pay for your kids. It could be child support. It could just be maintaining a home and a family. You can't do what you did before, but you still miss doing them. I understand all those things. But my point being is don't sell yourself short. All right, and don't let always money be the factor to not kind of, you know, go do what you want to do because I think that's a backbreaker. Now, again, I never, I'll just throw this out there too. I used to take a lot of junkets or like gamble all over the country and they had these charters. And I, uh, you know, I never rented my own plane or had my own jet or anything, but then I, I, didn't want to fly commercial all the time and I had a bunch of friends that we did this with and we started to find these charter companies and then they would be smaller planes and it would only be like literally like say you know whatever 20 people on the plane and if 10 of them were my friends or eight of them but it started to you know feel like our own plane and then we started to get to know these people we were flying to the Bahamas all the time Biloxi we we're flying to Atlantic City we even took my buddy uh we had a, basically our own plane when we went to Atlantic City at Trump Towers because we knew the people. We flew out of Daytona. But again, I was kind of, you know, I was paying cheaper for charter flights as a group in these off, you know, offbeat airports. It was cheaper than that, doing that, than I was getting on a commercial flight. Not only that, it was like having our own plane. It was crazy. So I'm just kind of bringing up things that you can, again, get creative and figure out things that you can do that are really amazing and sometimes cheaper, a lot cheaper than you think, if that kind of makes sense. Uh, I could go on forever regarding this, but if you have a certain lifestyle you want to lead, I'm just telling you, you can do it. The thing is, you may not be able to do it at the magnitude that you want to do it, and I get it. That doesn't mean you can't at least start enjoying or getting a taste of it. Because a lot of things are right. They're just, you're at the beginning phase. A lot of people look at the end phase, if that makes sense. So if you want a Ferrari, you can't afford 250 grand. I understand it. But, and you probably ain't going to be able to join a Ferrari club. That's very exclusive. So that's a tough one. Let's use a Porsche or maybe even a Corvette, whatever the case may be. You know, you can join certain clubs to be a part of car, you know, a car club. Some of them will let you join even, I think, if you don't have a car. Or it could be any club. I don't give a shit if it's a golf place and, you know, you're not going to get into maybe something exclusive. But if you want to join a golf club that's affordable, go find one. But again, even uh, just also surround yourself around with a lot of people that are kind of living the way you want to live. And I think a lot of people are intimidated thinking, I can't get around those dudes. They all make a half a million, million, five million, ten million. They run. People are people. I'm going to tell you right now. Sure, a lot of times they will shun you. But I'll tell you right now, we, 
in Orlando, there's a lot of cigar places we hang out at. And I used to know everybody originally, and they just thought I was kind of like some mob kid out of Chicago. I knew every bartender, bar owner, bar manager. Everybody kind of knew me. So you have that kind of image. But now I'm nothing like that. But I go in these places still, and I talk to a lot of guys, some very wealthy, some of the wealthiest people actually in the state of Florida. There's a lot of them in Orlando, believe it or not. There's some really wealthy people all over. It could be Winter Park, Orlando, Miami, or wherever the hell. There's tons of people with money. And you become friends with them. And you're just smoking and you're getting knowledge and you're enjoying your life. Now, that's what I like to do. You, on the other hand, can do the same thing because I did that in the when I was making films. Before you know it, I'm just a micro-budget, low-budget filmmaker. And before you know it, I start hanging out in L.A. And before you know it, you're at the Emmys. You know, it sounds weird, but I never had the fear of going after or being around certain types of people. People to me are people. And I think that was because I was raised in the bar and nightclub business and everybody mingled with everybody. Even if you go to a VIP section, they still have. I mean, they're exclusive maybe in that area. And I used to rent out VIP spots. But eventually, they're going to go on a dance floor. They're eventually, if you have friends and whatever, everybody's going to party together. And that's kind of how you got to look at your life. Just go enjoy one another and meet, one, meet other people. And uh, just go live the life you really want to lead. I'm going to wrap it up with that. Got any questions or comments, hit me up. If you want to know about my program, Mastering Self-Confidence, where I truly do try to help men uh, really not only find the woman of their dreams, but live the life that they truly desire, I guess, when everything is said and done. So you can find that at MasteringSelfConfidence.com. I'm RichTolenza.com. And uh, go have a great day. Kick it in the ass. Don't let anybody ever make you feel like you're not worthy of what you want.